Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 15th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the ELIF statement in Python and the ELIF statement allows us to check multiple conditions instead of just one in the case of uh, if statement, right? And uh, again, we're going to make a very simple program and we're going to see the ELIF statement in action in that program and that's how we're going to understand it. So, you know, I have my Python IDLE here. I'll press control N, have a script window and uh, I'm going to make a very simple program, as I said, and uh, this is going to be a long program maybe, but then, you know, it's going to be simple, trust me. So I'll have uh, a couple of variables in my program. The first one I'm going to call SP, which is a short form for selling price. I'll give it the value 1500. The next line, I'll create another variable and I'll, I'll call this one CP. I'll give it the value 1200. And this is, you know, CP is the short form for cost price, right? And uh, then I'm going to use the if statement to check whether the selling price is greater than the cost price or not. And if that is the case, then we're going to do some stuff, right? So uh, what happens when the selling price is greater than the cost price is that you make some money, right? So you make profit and, uh, you know, we'll use a print function to display the profit value and also, you know, a couple of messages. So the first thing that we're going to display is uh, congratulations. And then on the next line, I'll get another print function and, uh, you know, through this, I will display the profit value. So you've made a profit off and then I want to display the profit value. So for that, I'll have to get outside the second double quotation mark because if I don't do that, then, you know, uh, the arithmetic operation that I need to perform won't be performed. Instead, the text would be displayed as is, right? So I'll get outside the second double quotation mark and I'll put in a comma symbol here and then type in SP minus CP, right? So this is going to obtain the profit value and then I'll put another comma symbol and then within double quotes, I'll just, you know, just type in bucks and that's because I want to display the word bucks after displaying the profit value, right? And uh, on the next line, I'm going to get outside the block of if and we're going to, you know, type in the elif keyword here and get inside the elif statement. But then, you know, there are three scenarios that you can have in this program. The first one we've already covered and that is the case when uh, the selling price is greater than the cost price. The second scenario can be you know, uh, a case in which you make a loss, right? So in that case, the selling price will be less than the cost price or the cost price will be greater than the selling price. And the third scenario will be, you know, when the value of the selling price is the same as the value of the cost price. So in that case, you neither lose money nor do you make money. So in, instead of having, uh, you know, three if statements to make the three checks, we're going to use if only once and then we're going to have the second check made by the elif statement and the third check you know, covered by the else statement, right? So I'm going to type in elif here, right? That's E-L-I-F. And then within parentheses, I'll make the second check. And that is whether the cost price is greater than selling price or not. And uh, of course, we're going to get to this check. You know, the elif statement is going to execute only if the if statement fails. So in this case, we won't have to unnecessarily, you know, execute the uh, if statement checks because, you know, if one if block will execute, then, you know, the rest of the program will just skip, right? So uh, I'll get in a print function here and uh, I'll display the message oops. And uh, that's because it's a bad thing. You know, we've lost some money. And then uh, I'll type in print function again and display the value of the loss made here. And uh, to do that, I'll uh, type in you've made a loss of and then again outside the second double quotation mark i'll type in uh, cp minus sp this times this time and uh, then i'll type in box right and uh, i'll get outside the elif block on the next line i'll type in else to cover the third case and you know i don't have to specify any condition here you know obviously we'll get inside the else block only if these two conditions will evaluate to false so the selling price is not greater than the cost price and the cost price is not greater than the selling price so that leaves only one possible condition for the else block and that is you know the values are, are the same right and uh, i'll type in print here and uh, we'll just play a simple message something like you know you didn't make or lose money right simple enough i'll put in a full stop here and uh, i'll save the file i'll save it on my desktop i'll give it the name elif and 
When I press F5 to execute the program, I see the message congratulations and then I see you made a profit of 300 bucks, right? So the calculation was made and the profit amount was displayed to us, right? And uh, if I change the values of uh, the two variables, so let's say if I make selling price 1200 and if I make the cost price 1500, save the file and rerun the program, and this time I see the message, oops, you made a loss of 300 bucks, right? And uh, that's because uh, the cost price is greater than selling price and the ELIF block worked and the IF block didn't work, right? And uh, if I make the values the same, then in that case, the IF block won't execute, the ELIF block also won't execute. Instead, only the ELSE block will execute and that just has one statement. So I'll save the file, rerun the program, and this time I see the message, you didn't make or lose money. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to check out the nested if else uh, statement in Python. And uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. And you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.